Hi everyone, this is Hello Angel Door Design. Today I'm going to show you how I make this cute cape dress. It's very beautiful. It's a step-by-step -step tutorial and easy tutorial to make. I will show you how you can adjust your pattern paper so that it's easy for you to make. This dress that I make right here is for four years old child. You can make yours five, six years. All you have to do is just extend this cape. You just add more inches to the length. So this is how it is. Remember to support us by subscribing. Turn on your notification bell button, select all option. Remember to also watch the video until the end so that you don't miss anything out. And let's get started. First thing that we have to do, we are going to make adjustment on our pattern paper. So this is the front of my pattern paper. It's four years pattern paper. And this is the back pattern paper. I'm not going to use the back pattern paper. I'm only going to be using the front pattern paper for adjustment. We are only going to use the front pattern paper for this dress making. First thing that you have to do, you take a different paper. If you have A4 paper, it's good. If you don't, just take a different paper. Place your front pattern paper like this. Go ahead and secure the pattern paper with a pin. Once you have secured your pattern paper with a pin, the next thing that you have to do, go ahead and trace it all out. I have traced it out. I will just go ahead and remove my pins. So you put this aside. The next thing that you have to do from the waistline, we are going to add few centimeter. Just go ahead and measure down from the waistline, add about 0.5 centimeter. So what you're going to do from the armhole, you connect it down to that 0.5 centimeter. Or you can even add one centimeter. Depends on your child body measurement. So this is my 0.5 centimeter. So what you're going to do, you're going to retrace the waistline. You take your arm hook curve, you just place it like this. Go ahead and retrace the waistline all over again. So this is how it is. The purpose of we adding 0.5 centimeter at the waistline because this dress that we are making, there is no button loop, there is no zipper, and there is no button holes. So you want the dress to go through very easily on the child, through the neckline and through the waistline. Because if the waistline is tight, it will be very difficult for the child to pass his both hands true so that is why i add 0.5 at the waistline you can also add one centimeter at the waistline so that it's more free so what i'm going to do i will go ahead and add one centimeter seam allowance at the shoulder i'll go ahead and add one centimeter seam allowance at the armhole and i'll add one centimeter seam allowance at the waistline and at the bottom edge, I will also add one centimeter seam allowance. For the neckline, I'm not going to add seam allowance. I'm just going to leave it the way it is because the neckline of my pattern paper is not so deep. Just the shoulder, armhole, side seam, and at the bottom edge. Once I am done with that, I will go ahead and cut it out. I have cut out my pattern paper. And this is my fabric. I'm using this fabric. You can use any fabric of your choice. So I'm going to pin my pattern paper on my fabric. So go ahead and pin your pattern paper on your fabric. So when you're pinning your pattern paper, make sure the front fabric is unfold. You can see that my fabric, I fold it into two. You just go ahead and pin your pattern paper on your fabric once you have done that. Go ahead and cut it out. Make sure you're cutting two pieces. Because this dress, we are not going to line in the dress. We are going to use bias binding to bind the armhole. So 
So the next thing that we are going to cut, we are going to cut our bias binding. So what you're going to do, you just fold your fabric like this, a diagonal way. Take your scissors, cut it out. Once you have done that, what you're going to do, you take your measuring tape, you're going to decide the width of your bias binding. So the width of my bias binding is going to be three centimeter. What I'm going to do, I will take my marker, I will just go ahead and measure that three centimeter and then cut it out. Make sure that to cut enough bias binding to bind the bolt armhole. The next thing that we have to do, we are going to cut the fabric for the cape. So I fold my fabric into two. This is it. This is the raw edge side. This is the fold hem side. So this is how it is. I'm going to take the width of my fabric. The width of my fabric is 24 and a half inch. If you're using centimeter, measure 62 centimeter. And the length of my fabric, remember, is on fold. The length of my fabric is 14 inch. If you're using centimeter, measure 35.5 centimeter. That is 35 and a half centimeter. So what you are going to do, I've already fold my fabric into two. You go ahead and fold it again, like you're going to make a circle skirt. So I'm going to secure with a pin because the fabric moves a lot. Once you have pinned your fabric together, the next thing that you have to do, you take your front top. This is the front of my bodies. What you're going to do from the shoulder, you measure one centimeter, that is your seam allowance. Once you measure that one centimeter, take your marker and mark it all the way down. Then you fold the one centimeter inside the top you can go ahead and secure that with a pin the next thing that we have to do we are going to place the neckline at the fold hem side of this fabric you can see that this side is folded this side is all folded you can see that this side are the raw edges so what you're going to do i'm going to turn my fabric because this side is folded there is no in between fabric like this. So I will turn my fabric. I'm going to place my top dress neckline on this fabric. Once I am done with that, I will go ahead and secure with a pin. Make sure that you fix it properly. Once you have secured that with a pin, you just go ahead and trace it out. Just go ahead and trace it out. You don't need seam allowance. Just trace it out the way the neckline is. Once you trace it out, go ahead and remove the pins and you also remove your top dress on the fabric. The next thing that you have to do once you remove your top dress, so you take your measuring tape, we are going to measure the length of the cape. So you place your measuring tape like this. I'm going to take a measurement of 18 centimeter. If you're using inches, you can take a measurement of 7.25 inch or seven inches. So I'm going to measure 18 centimeter all around. Once you have done that, go ahead and connect the mark together. I have connected the mark together. I will go ahead and cut it out. First thing that you have to do, you open your top dress and you take the second pieces, place it on top of each other. You're going to pin the shoulder seam. Once you have done pinning the shoulder seam, go ahead and stitch it with one centimeter seam allowance. Depends on the seam allowance that you add on your fabric. Go ahead and stitch the shoulder seam together. Once you have done that, you can also take your bias binding. This is the front of my bias binding. You place the both front together. You stitch it a diagonal way. Make sure you have enough bias binding to bind the armhole. Go ahead and stitch the shoulder seam of your top dress. Once you have done that, you can either take it to your overlocker, overlock the raw edges, or use zigzag to overlock the raw edges 
of your shoulder seam. I have stitched the shoulder seam. I take it to my overlock, I overlock the raw edges. The next thing that we have to do, we are going to use bias binding to bind the armhole. So you place your bias binding at the front of your top dress. You just go ahead and pin your bias binding around the bold armhole. Once you have done pinning, take it to your sewing machine and top stitch with one centimeter seam allowance. So go ahead and pin it in place and top stitch. I have used my bias binding to bind the armhole. The next thing that you have to do, put the both front fabric together. We are going to stitch the side seam of the top dress. You just put them together. Go ahead and secure that with a pin. I have pinned both side seam together. Once you have done that, take it to your sewing machine, stitch the side seam with one centimeter seam allowance. Once you have done that, you take your skirt this is my skirt. I cut two pieces for the skirt. What you're going to do, this is the front of my skirt. So you're going to put the both front fabric together. Once you have done that, take it to your sewing machine. Go ahead and stitch the side seam with one centimeter seam allowance. Once you have done that, you can either overlock the raw edges or you use zigzag to overlock the raw edges. Once you have stitched the side seam together, set your sewing machine to the longest stitch. You're going to stitch your gather stitch thread on top of the skirt. So go ahead and stitch them together. I have stitched the side seam of my top together and I take it to my overlock, I overlock the raw edges. I have also stitched my gather stitch thread on the skirt and I've stitched the side seam. I take it to my overlock, I overlock the raw edges. The next thing that you have to do, I'm going to turn my skirt inside out. So you turn your skirt inside out, this is my May top. I'm going to turn my May top inside out. This is the front of my May top. What I'm going to do, I will open my skirt and place it inside. This is the side seam of my top and the side seam of my skirt. I'll put them together and I will pin that in place. And I will pick the other side. This is the side seam of my skirt. And this is the side seam of my top. I put them together and I will secure that with a pin. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to gather the skirt all around. You can see that both front fabric are facing each other. This is the front of my skirt. This is the front of my top. They are facing each other. You just go ahead and gather your skirt around the top dress and pin them in place. I have pinned my skirt around the waistline of my top dress. The next thing that you have to do, take it to your sewing machine, go ahead and stitch it with one centimeter seam allowance, or depends on the seam allowance that you add on your fabric. Once you have done that, remove your gather stitch thread and overlock it with your zigzag stitches, or take it to your overlocker sewing machine and overlock the waistline. Once you have done that, take your skirt to your sewing machine. You're going to hem the skirt. Fold inside one centimeter, fold it again one centimeter and go ahead and top stitch. So go ahead and stitch that in place. Once you have done stitching, then we cannot stitch our cape on the neckline of the dress. I have stitched my skirt on the waistline of the top dress. This is how it look right now. 
and I've also hemmed my skirt around. This is how it is. The next thing that you have to do, turn your dress inside out. So I will just turn my dress inside out like this. You can see that I overlocked the raw edges of the gathered skirt. So what we are going to do, this is the back of the dress. And then you take your cape. This is the front of my cape. So you're going to put it on top of each other. The front facing the back neckline. Place it on top of each other. Go ahead and pin it all around. I have pinned it on the neckline of this dressmaking. So what we are going to do, take it to your sewing machine, go ahead and stitch it all around. Once you have done that, then turn it inside out and I will show you how that finally looks. I have stitched it around the neckline. The next thing that you have to do, take your scissor, make sure that you snip around the neckline so that when you turn it inside out and take it to your ironing board and give it a good press, it lies very perfect. So go ahead and snip around the neckline, take it to your ironing board and give it a good press. I have ironed my dress around this is how it is the next thing that you have to do take it to your sewing machine go ahead and top stitch around the neckline and from the bottom edge of the cape you just fold inside go ahead and give it a top stitch all around once you have done that you also take your dress the seam allowance of your skirt you push it towards the bodies you just go ahead and top stitch around the waist line so go ahead and top stitch around the neckline and hem the cape all around and top stitch around the waistline. Once you have done that, your dress is finally ready. This is the final look of my dress. It's a beautiful dress. It's a step-by-step -step tutorial. This is how it look. I have hemmed the cape around. So this is how the dress look. Thank you all so much for watching and have a beautiful day. Bye.